Today on Scotty Reads, we're going to have a look at Thomas F. Baird on Wikipedia. Thomas Francis Baird was an American lawyer, politician, and diplomat from Wilmington, Delaware. A Democrat, he served three terms as United States Senator from Delaware and made three unsuccessful bids for the Democratic nomination for the President of the United States. In 1885, President Grover Cleveland appointed him to Secretary of State. After four years in private life, he returned to the diplomatic arena as ambassador to the United Kingdom. Born in Delaware to a prominent family, Byard learned politics from his father, James A. Byard, Jr., who also served in the Senate. In 1869, the Delaware legislature elected Bayard to the Senate upon his father's retirement. A peace Democrat during the Civil War, Bayard spent his early years in the Senate in opposition to Republican policies, especially the reconstruction of the defeated Confederacy. His conservatism extended to financial matters as he became known as a staunch supporter of the gold standard and an opponent of greenbacks and silver coinage, which he believed would cause inflation. Bayard's conservative politics made him popular in the South with an Eastern popular with the South and with the Eastern financial interests, but never popular enough to obtain the Democratic nomination for president, which he attempted to win in 1876, 1880, and 1884. In 1885, President Cleveland appointed Baird Secretary of State. Baird worked with Cleveland to promote the American trade in the Pacific, while avoiding the acquisition of colonies at the time when many Americans clamored for them. He sought increased cooperation with Great Britain, working to resolve disputes over fishing and seal hunting rights in the waters around Canada and the United States border. As ambassador, Byard continued to strive for Anglo-American friendship. This brought him into conflict with his successor at the State Department, Richard Olney. When Olney and Cleveland demanded more aggressive diplomatic overtures than Baird wished in the Venezuela crisis of 1895. His term at the American Embassy ended in 1897, and he died the following year. For more information, please visit Wikipedia at the link here. Thanks for watching. I'm pursuing my passion for public speaking by reading 100 news articles in 100 days and publishing the recordings to YouTube. Do you have tips, tricks, or news article suggestions? Share them with me in the comment section below. Thank you, and have a nice day.